Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Morning Prayer. This is Sunday, the 31st week in Ordinary Time. Our morning prayer begins this day on page 190 of our prayer books. I'm happy you're here today. Uh, let's join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm, and keep us from evil. We are God's people, the flocky shepherds. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For Yahweh is a great God, a great king over all other gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains as well. The sea belongs to him, for he made it. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. Oh, that today you would listen to Yahweh's voice. Harden not your hearts as Israel did at Meribah, as they did at Massa in the wilderness. For there your ancestors tested and tried my patience, even though they saw everything I did. For forty years I was angry with them, and I said, they are a people whose hearts turn away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So I swore in my anger, they will never enter my place of rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. We are God's people the flocky shepherds. O oh, come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Yahweh, as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence set our hearts on fire with love for you. Alleluia. Our hymn today is on page 753, hymn number 52. Again, O loving Savior, the children of thy grace, prepare themselves to seek thee within thy chosen place. Our song shall rise to greet thee, if thou our hearts shalt raise. If thou our lips wilt open, our mouth shall show thy praise. The shining choirs of angels that rest not day or night, the crowded and palm-checked martyrs, the saints arrayed in white, the happy lambs of Jesus, the pastures fair above, these all adore and praise thee, whom we too praise and love. The church on earth rejoices to join with these today, and every tongue and nation she calls her sons to pray across the northern snowfields, beneath the Indian palms. She makes the same pure offering and sings the same sweet psalms. Tell out sweet bells his praises. Sing children, sing his name. Still louder and still far farther his mighty deeds proclaim. To all whom he redeemed shall own him Lord and King, till every knee shall worship and every tongue shall sing. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. Alleluia. What mighty praise, O God, belongs to you in Zion. We will fulfill our vows to you, for you answer our prayers. All of us must come to you, though we are overwhelmed by our sins 
you forgive them all, what joy for those you choose to bring near, those who live in your holy courts. What festivities await us inside your holy temple. You faithfully answer our prayers with awesome deeds, O God our Savior. You are the hope of everyone on earth, even those who sail on distant seas. You formed the mountains by your power and formed yourself with mighty strength. You quieted the raging oceans and their pounding waves and silenced the shouting of the nations. Those who live at the ends of the earth stand in awe of your wonders. For where the sun rises to where it sets, you inspire shouts of joy. You take care of the earth and water it, making it rich and fertile. The river of God has plenty of water. It provides a bountiful harvest of grain, for you have ordered it so. You drench the plowed ground with rain melting the clods and leveling the ridges. You soften the earth with showers and bless its abundant crops. You crown the year with a beautiful or bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the wilderness become a lush pasture and the hillsides blossom with joy. <laughs> the meadows are clothed with flocks of sheep and the valleys are carpeted with grain. They all shout and sing for joy. You are the Lord. We acclaim you. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Bless the Lord, you angels of the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you powers of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, you heavens. Bless the Lord, sun and moon. Bless the Lord, you stars of the sky. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all rain and dew. Bless the Lord, fire and heat. Bless the Lord, scorching wind and bitter cold. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, nights and days. Bless the Lord, light and darkness. Bless the Lord, lightning and clouds. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all the earth. Bless the Lord, mountains and hills. Bless the Lord, everything growing from the earth. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, springs of water. Bless the Lord, seas and rivers. Bless the Lord, all water creatures. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, birds of the air. Bless the Lord, beasts of the wild. Bless the Lord, flocks and herds. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, men and women everywhere. Bless the Lord, O Israel. Bless the Lord, priests and servants of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Bless the Lord, all you of upright spirit. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless the Lord, Hananiah. Azariah, and Mishael. Praise and exalt him above all forever. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heaven. Praise him for his mighty works. Praise his unequaled greatness. Praise him with the blast of a ram's horn. Praise him with the lyre and harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise him with springs, strings and flutes. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that breathes sing praises to the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading for this morning's prayer is from the book of Revelation. John writes, I saw a vast crowd, too great to count, from every nation and tribe and people and language, standing in front of the throne and before the Lamb. 
They were clothed in white robes and held palm branches in their hands. And they were shouting with a great roar, Salvation comes from our God, who sits on the throne and from the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living beings. And they all fell before the throne with their faces to the ground and worshiped God. And they sang, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and strength belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Sing to the glory of his name. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In his tender compassion, of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Sing to the glory of his name. Alleluia. We praise you, God, our creator, for your handiwork in shaping and sustaining your wonderful creation. As we rejoice this morning in your presence, we thank you for your many gifts. For the precious gift of life, we give you thanks, Lord God for the many blessings that we will receive in the course of this day. We give you thanks, Lord God, for the bountiful resources of the earth. We give you thanks, Lord God, and for the gifts of creativity and skill with which you bless us. We give you thanks, Lord God. We dare to pray for others, claiming your love for the whole world and committing ourselves to care for those around us. In particular, this morning we pray for the needs of the church and the world. For those laboring this day to bless and strengthen others, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who struggle to find meaningful and dignified work, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who teach and those who learn, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who are poor and find themselves lacking basic human needs, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And for the witness of the Christian Church in Europe, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our heart. Lord, we pray for Elise traveling to Italy again this week to do research. Bless her, give her strength. May people come to speak with her so she can analyze them. Be with Jack, O oh Lord, who's in the hospital. Father, his leg is gangrenous. 
and the doctors know what to do and decide to do what has to be done and may Jack accept it as your will. May this be a wake-up call for him that he would see you in his life. Thank you, Lord, for Mark, who's been taking care of Jack and making sure he got to the hospital. Watch over Mark this day. And Lord, whether he comes to Mass this morning or not is, is your, up to you. We pray, O oh Lord, that we follow your will. Lord, we pray for all those that are suffering. We pray for my brother Jeff, still recovering from the stroke that he had. Continue to heal him. Keep him in your grace. May this too be a wake up call for him and for Debbie as well, O oh Lord, that they draw closer to you. Father, bless this morning. Bless our Mass today. Bless this day as in general. May we see this day as your gift to us May we live our life this day as our gift back to you in thanksgiving and praise. Lord, we pray. With confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Gracious Father, you fill our hearts with joy as we celebrate the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son. Grant us today such blessings through our worship that the week may come and be spent in your favor and peace we ask this through Christ our Lord Amen we praise you O God we acclaim you as the Lord all creation worships you the Father everlasting to you all angels all powers of heaven the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church claims you. Father of majesty and bounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit advocate and guide, you, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you did not abhor the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory, and we believe we will, you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with all your saints into everlasting glory. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord order our steps in his ways, and our day in his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. Dear friends, brothers, sisters, and family, thank you for joining me this day in prayer. I pray the Lord blesses you this day and keeps you always in his loving hands. Look at how God has blessed you 
this day already by simply getting you up today. Now turn and be a blessing to God and bless those around you. Amen.